Hello and welcome to this program where I shall be teaching you on, on some of the programs that have been carried out in our research group. My name is Miracle Chibuza Marcel and I'm the contact person for the National Astronomy Education Committee under the International Astronomical Union. So, um, I'm also the founder of Pan-African Citizen Science Laboratory. So <clears throat> it's an online um, lab where we carry a lot of programs. And some of these programs include this Pan-African Asteroid Search. So we are among the international groups participating in the search and the, in the catalog of asteroids. Um, asteroids are objects in flying, orbiting um, the sun. Sometimes they crisscross our planet Earth and falls to the planet. So there's need to keep them on check. So we are among these international groups that are always um, searching for these asteroids. So we come under the name Pan-African Asteroid Search Campaign. We also carry other citizen science projects um, on the Zoo, Zoo Universe um, platforms. We share programs there. So under the Zoo, Zoo Universe platform, you can have programs um, like galaxy classification, uh, planet hunting, and some other programs citizen science programs. So we also have image processing and web telescopes. We have registered with a, a couple of international um, organizations that operate uh, remote telescopes like the SLU Institute of Astrophysics and the Las Congress Observatory. So with our subscription, our students or our participants can capture images of uh, any any image of their choice we also teach them on how to process those raw files to be able to produce beautiful images so if you join our group you will learn a lot about it then we have programs on space competitions we share programs on this so if you want to prove your talent if you love space and you want to prove your talent in space you can join our group in, in order to receive information about this competition An example of such organization is the international astronomy and astrophysics competition in fact it is currently ongoing so if you want to join any of these programs you can reach out to me via my contact listed here we also have programs on python for astronomy in case you, if you if you um if you're aware that in astronomy we make use of the python program so we have some projects for you that you can learn some of the things that are being done in astronomy with regards to python so if you're interested in any of these programs you can reach out to me via my contacts here. This is my email and this is my phone number. And it is connected to, uh, to the WhatsApp. So you can easily chat me and uh, we can hold the meeting, we can discuss it. And if you want to, you have teachers in your country and you want them to be trained in any of these programs, just reach out to me. We can work with your team can work with them so that they can learn some of these things in order to have tools for teaching astronomy in your country all right so this is our some of our social media handles look this is our whatsapp group this is our whatsapp group we have an active person we have an active uh, group up to 194 persons and our our community is fast growing so if you, you can join any of our if you want to join our group so you can just add you to this group and you can check our handles on facebook and, and 
Twitter and LinkedIn. This is our this is our Facebook page. So if you want to see our programs, you can log on Facebook and search for this name. It will appear. You can follow us because we usually update our pages. This is our LinkedIn page. You can check it out. You can check out what we do there. And this is our Twitter page. So reach out and follow us on these platforms. All right. Um, the reason for this is to walk you through the asteroid search program. So what you're seeing right here is the Penn Stars Observatory. This is the primary observatory that collects the data that we use, the asteroid data that we use. So after collecting the data, fresh data, of course, they are sent to the Isaac website. So this is the link to the Isaac website, and we are going to be using this link in the next video. So from this website, you can register your team before the program starts, and then you'll receive fresh data. And the reason for this program is to teach you everything about the Isaac program and how you can participate, especially how to use the computer program called Astrometrica to search for asteroids. So this is our Pan-African Asteroid Search Group. And you can see the number of countries here. This is um, our past campaigns. And we are trusted in university groups, astronomy clubs, national astronomy organizations, anyone that loves space and you would like to involve your students, we would work with you. So reach out to me as soon as possible. So to be able to participate in our program, here are the requirements. You need uh, a computer. And we use all our programs to work with Windows operating systems. It could be Windows 7 or all the way to Windows 11. So we need Windows. But if you have other operating systems other than Windows, we have a way to bypass that. We have experts that can help you to bypass that so you can use your whatever operating system to search for asteroids. All right, so you should have a good internet. 4G is preferred, but if you have 3G, let it be very strong. However, it is not going to be fast because we we have you have to download some stuff, some data. You have to analyze them, and it works with um, fast internet connection. However, if you don't have it, if you have 3G, let it be strong. Okay, but you have to be patient in that regard. Then we have um, time commitment. Time commitment. Um, it depends actually. But you can at least commit four hours per week. Okay? You can. We have ways of um, doing this. You mustn't be doing it every day. You can choose some days in a week to be searching for the asteroid. So, so but at least if you add it up, it should be up to four hours per week. Then, to be able to participate in the asteroid search, especially if you have a group. Okay, minimum of three persons. Minimum of three persons. So, these are the requirements. So, in the next video, I shall be walking you through the Isaac website, and uh, and I'll be showing you the different uh, sections, and uh, also I'll show you how to download and install the astrometrical program. Thanks.